What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits and inside of this video, I'm going to show you my super efficient method for creating reels on Instagram using your computer. So let's hop over and get started. All right, so this is my process. I've been doing this now for this project, which we just completed in the winter for about five different brands, and we had to create reels for each of the brands in addition to creating photos and video content for them. So it was a lot of editing to do, and so I needed to find the most efficient way to do it because doing a reel on your phone can take a long time, especially if you're trying to sync things up to the music, whatever, right? So this is the process that I came up with. First off, you're gonna need to find your music. I'll show you the way that I do it typically. I'm just gonna go and find a reel for somebody I'm following. So Mr. Davey Gravy, the beautiful legend that he is, is always posting great reels. So I'll find a song that I actually like the sounds of. I'll literally go until I find something that sounds good, right? And after I found my reel, the way that I am getting the audio off of it, there's two different things you can do. One is to grab an Instagram plugin for Chrome. So this one's called Fast Save for Instagram that I've got here. And it literally just add a download button to your Instagram posts. Now I was using this up until really recently and then Instagram changed something in their coding. So this program is currently broken. So my method right now is just to capture it using QuickTime or ScreenFlow, which is my screen capturing software. So what you're gonna do is open up QuickTime. And most people don't necessarily know that you can actually do a new audio recording or movie recording or screen recording in QuickTime. So you can create a new recording and you can set it so that you're actually recording the audio as well and just literally play the reel. And that's the easiest way to get the music that I've found. So if you don't actually have screen capturing software and one of these plugins isn't working for you, you can always sign up for Loom. It's a free extension that runs inside of Chrome. And once you actually have Loom downloaded, you can literally just set the capture mode to current tab and enable include tab audio. And then from there, you can literally just play the story and record the audio and then Loom will export it as a video and then you can grab that, put it into your computer. You're going to need some kind of a video editor to do this, whether that's iMovie or Premiere Pro or Final Cut, doesn't really matter. You just open it up and all you need is to import that track. So you can see here that I've just got the real audio that I've added right down here. So here's my real audio. And what's really beautiful about doing this on a computer versus doing this on say your phone, is you can actually zoom in on the waveform, which is this little thing right here. You can see here's the beats where all of the kick drums are happening. And so now all I have to do is just grab the video content for my reel. So I've got like a little video that just precedes it. And then when the beat really drops, all I'm doing is grabbing my images from the shoot. So these ones right here. And I'm literally just going to line them right up on the beat drops. So let's click and drag these images right over here to where the drop starts, which is here. And then the easiest way to do it, you could just like obviously drag each of these onto the beat, just like that, one at a time, and go like that. That'll be pretty fast. But I found an even faster way, which is to hit these little lock tracks. And of course, if you're on a different NLE, you're not using Premiere, this won't be as helpful for you unless you can find this on yours. But you're gonna just hit those little lock tracks and then you can just move your cursor to where the beat is. And I'm going to press the W key on my keyboard. And that's automatically going to trim the selected clip to end at that point. So I'm literally just gonna scrub through here, find all these beats. So you don't have to listen and then adjust and listen and adjust. You can literally do this and it's just gonna be perfect the first time. So it's super, super fast. So you can see going through just like that. Cool, that does it. I've got a bunch of images that I didn't use and now I can grab those and put them on another reel and kind of repeat the process. But here's the finished reel for you. So that's kind of all there is to it. Now, is that the perfect reel? Of course not. You could go in and tweak a few things, make it a lot more polished and better, but it's a far more efficient and quick approach to creating a reel I've found than actually trying to do it on the Instagram app. So hopefully it was helpful. If it was, do me a favor. Can you hit the like button and make sure to leave a comment below? Or if you have other strategies for creating reels on the fly, please share those with me. I would love to have some better tips and tricks in that regard. If you want some free presets, grab it in the description and subscribe if you want more content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace. Thank you.